hello friends so here we go with the uh, one more tetrahedron problem uh, where it says a tetrahedron of 50 mm side rests on one of its corner such that the edge containing that corner is inclined at 40, 50 degree and uh, uh, to VP at uh, 30 degree okay so draw the projection so normally uh, here we have a tetrahedron uh, here they won't give any axis line so they have said the edge length is a 50 mm and the side containing that edge is inclined at 50 degree to the HP and the same edge is resting uh, inclined at 30 degree to the VP okay so this is a typical one where normally uh, for a prism or a pyramid, we will take a axis inclined as a beta line. So, this is the only one problem where we will get uh, the edge inclined. We need to go with the locus line problem. Okay. So, which edge and all? So, we will see one by one. Okay. Uh, just to start with that one. So, we will take one reference line. Okay. So, uh, in the previous problem, uh, already we know like so the tetrahedron is uh, a one which consists of four equilateral triangular faces but here the only thing is here it is resting on the corner so corner should lie uh, right side to you so here the edge line they have given it's a 55 mm so take a 55 mm okay so and taking the 55 mm length cut from both the ends Cut from both the ends. Okay, so now connect this one. Okay, so this is how exactly it is work. So you can say this is A and this is B and this is a C. Okay, so now show the edge length here. This is 55 and take half of this one so 55 means it's a 25 plus 2 and of 27 and of so it will come somewhere here drawing itself you just drop it into the center line okay. so this is how exactly it is visible so now we'll say this is O in the bracket O1 all right so take take the projections so this line till X Y line so same this line till X Y line so this is our A dash and this is our C dash in the bracket B dash and the center line just uh, till here then you extend little bit upward okay so here so O A line is parallel to the X Y line these two are inclined so we need to take uh, the curve uh, uh, the arc from the A side so just take a same 55 mm from the corner A just cut it on the O and O1 ok so now just join this so this is O dash this is a O1 dash so this is how exactly it is visible ok so we need to cut it from the corner side okay so now here you need to show the edge length so this is 50 okay so now the edge containing that corner is this a and a o so this is inclined at a 50 degree to the uh, x y length so means you can just take a some area 
a 50 degree line okay so you can just take directly it's a 55 mm okay so or else you can just drop and take the arc and cut it on that one that is also okay so this is a dash and this is o dash okay so now take the reference a to c dash b dash cut an arc okay and from o dash to the b dash cut an arc you just extend this arc So you will get Tilia Tilia Okay, so this is our C dash in the bracket B dash So this is O dash and this is our 50 degree Okay, so now we need to locate the O1 So from the O Cut this and say this is our O one dash. Okay. So now okay, so what we have done, we have taken a fifty degree line, we have cut this O O one on that one, and we have just uh, reconstructed that one. So to take the projection. So, right extreme position and bottom most line. Okay, so A is here. So, this is A. So, this is O and O1 is here O1 so this is RC this is a B so now we are viewing from here so you can see O C B so that is nothing but a boundary also so O to the B and O to the C Okay, so now B to C is a boundary line, so you can just drop it. Okay, so A to O is at the underneath, so that is not visible to you. So that's a dotted line. Okay, so now O to O1 is an axis line, so here it will come, you need not to worry. So now from a to C also and A to B also it is not visible to you so you just drop from here to here it's a axis line okay so this is the resting corner O to A and B to C you know it is not visible to you see now the side okay so this side that is o to a o to a is inclined so here it is measures 55 so now you have to take the measurement here also so you just drop it here okay. and measure how much it is a o to a so it is around 34 for me okay so now the first length is a 55 and the second length is a 34 it's not an axis it is a edge o to a okay so o to a you need not to take a o to o1 okay so once this one is done so the side is uh, inclined at 30 degree so what you need to do is uh, you just take a 30 degree line okay anywhere Just drop a line okay so 
no this is 30 degree now take the first length that is o2 a1 and well below you just cut one arc okay so this is our o and this is our first a okay so now just take a horizontal line okay so this is our uh, locus line so now take the second edge length not o to o1 it's a o to a from the same cut one arc okay so now this is our a so this is our o just drop a line from a through o okay so we'll measure this angle it is around 55 55 degree okay so this is what is beta so you can write beta is equal to 55 degree okay now we need to construct this tetrahedron on this line okay so o to a is a dotted line so now directly you make this line dotted okay so extended with that one is o a to o1 that is around 10 mm so on the same line you just extend one line so this is our o1 okay so we'll write here it's a a okay so now from o you take the b okay so from o so we are rotating like this so b will come this side okay just measure o to c also it will come same so from both the side you just cut the same arc and from a you just measure b and c so both are same so from a you just cut one arc okay this side and one arc this side okay so here you just little bit extend this arc okay so now so this is b this is c okay just drop now o to b o to c okay then b to c okay so now from b to a it's a dotted line so from a to c it is a dotted line okay so this is how exactly we can reproduce the tetrahedron okay so once it, this one is done so, so i will take a long scale so we'll go with the first topmost projection Okay, so next uh, A. Okay, so we'll take it from the uh, rightmost uh, that is C. So C is at the top. So here it will get a C dash. Okay, so next uh, we'll take the horizontal that is O1. Then this A is on the line. So O is on this line. So this is O dash. Okay. So A is on the XY line. So this is our A dash. So B is at the top. So just see B to B dash. Okay. So left with the O1. okay so this is our o1 dash okay now if you see so this is our boundary here to here and uh, here to here okay so then here to here 
and then here to here. So this is the boundary. Okay, without any thought, you can drop the boundary. Even if you see from here, okay, you can see BC. So BC in your dark. Okay, so O to A. So O to A is a dark. Already we have done this one. So now you have to see like O to B, O to B. So O to B it is a dark. So now O to A. So O to A is also dark. Now you need to think like uh, from A to B. So where is A to B? A to B is visible here. Okay. So A to B it is at the bottom. So you can just make this one dark. Okay. So O to C is beyond that one. So O to C is here. So when we are here, that is not uh, visible to you. So now O to B it's a dotted line. Okay. So now O to O one it's an axis line. like this okay so hopefully see bc and ob okay and oa so bc ob oa and ac ac these things it's any of boundary and any of these things are visible to you so oc is we are here oc is beyond that one so oc is not visible that's a dotted line and last we left with the o to o1 so o to o1 is a axis line okay so whenever see once you draw the year we are weaving from here so once you draw here we are weaving from here okay just see the boundaries first and just see the things which are nearby to you and you can complete this one so this is how exactly a tetrahedron resting on the corner and the side containing that corner is inclined okay and the edge is inclined okay this is the only one problem where we will get a beta line that is a locus line for a edge inclination okay the sub problem number 44 very important okay so how to construct this tetrahedron equilateral triangle okay so look at the center from here you just extend the line and from the corner side take that edge length and cut it on the axis line okay so and join you will get that okay so thank you